What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka Allfires. Now we used to have a saying at the channel back in the days of Infinity War and Endgame when it was happening a lot more frequently, but trust me, it is just as apropos today as it was then. The toys. Toys are always the sources of the realest leaks and right at the last minute. That's because Marvel, in many instances, has to send these toys, which are main characters, name reveals, and huge plot points, to the toy factories in order to have them done on time to release simultaneously with the movie. That's how you ended up with the Tony Stark tech gauntlet on shelves at Walmart three weeks before Avengers Endgame came out, or like we had just earlier this year and months ago when McDonald's wouldn't move their already set in stone toy campaign with Marvel Studios for Brave New World, so in May of 2024, we got Red Hulk toys and Happy Meals before the movie comes out in February of 2025, and it has happened again, this time with Funko Pops. We're going to issue the lightest of spoiler warning and then show you what has now been revealed about a certain character that we've already been introduced to in the MCU and over the last couple of weeks in Disney Plus's Agatha All Along, then talk about who this character actually is and the implications for the multiverse saga. We're breaking it all down, Marvel Studios adding a major, major cosmic entity to the MCU under a false name and it getting leaked by an official Funko Pop promo. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button. As I said in yesterday's video, my analytics indicate that there are some of you who have watched like 100 plus videos and still haven't subbed to the channel, which is totally cool. I realized I've been doing the same thing, but if you consume my content on the daily, the best way to help me out as a content creator and for absolute free is to hit that sub button. And you might as well, because if you're watching daily, you got to be subbed for the giveaways. We're still giving away PS5s. We'll get into that stuff at the end of the video. Okay, so major, major spoiler warning here. If you want to be left in the dark as to this reveal, I haven't seen it in a lot of places, and I actually held off doing this video myself when the news broke out in the last 48 hours, but now I'm starting to see headlines like over at comicbookmovie.com about this merch reveal, and if it's posted there, it's going to be posted in a lot of places. So if you don't want to know this reveal, if you want to go into the unknown not knowing, I ain't mad at you. Now's the time to back out. Come back and see us after you get a little deeper into Agatha all along. No worries at all. But as we said in the prologue, an official Funko Pop promo was posted to the internet just days ago that reveals the hidden identity of two major characters in the series. Now, the first one, not a surprise at all. We now know officially that Billy is actually Wiccan. The teen that's identity has been hidden through the first three episodes will be Wiccan in the MCU. But... The other enormous reveal is that Rio Videl's character, the character being played by Aubrey Plaza, is actually the cosmic entity Death in the MCU, which is now another huge cosmic reveal alongside Eternity in Phases 4 and 5 in the Multiverse Saga. Now, Death is actually the personification of Death itself in the Marvel Universe, and although it can take any gender as a cosmic entity, is usually referred to as female or portrayed as female, cloaked in purple with a skeleton's face, and she's probably best known for her connection to Thanos, or Rather, Thanos' obsession with her, trying to court her as a motivating factor through huge parts of his storyline. And although her displays of power maybe haven't been on the level of some other huge cosmic beings, her hierarchy and ranking is right up there with the beginning of the universe. Technically, her progenitor is referred to as Oblivion, and sometimes she's referred to as the brother and or twin of Eternity, one of the cosmic beings we were introduced to at the end of Thor, Love and Thunder. Really, she's basically part of a whole set of siblings under Oblivion from the beginning of the universe that also include Order, Chaos, Eternity, etc. Now, again, outside of her fame as basically the obsession of Thanos, there's been some major storylines she's been a part of. Another one involving Thanos was Annihilation War when she urges him to team up with the Nihilus because she realizes that if everybody ends up dying, she's going to be basically worthless and or maybe even go extinct. There's only one denoting earmark, I think, of death in her parts in the storyline comics, something that happens basically if she goes away which has happened a couple of times. She's either died and or she had to leave her realm of death when it was invaded. What happens is, is that no one can die. Everybody becomes immortal because death is basically gone. Her huge thing is being a cosmic entity is that she's part of the balance of the universe, the eternal balance. And then I think about that in context of Avengers Secret Wars and how useful it might be to our heroes if, well, they were all immortal. Now, perhaps Marvel Studios does not have huge plans for her character beyond Agatha all along. The reveal will basically be included in that storyline. Death is probably after Agatha for, well, a myriad of reasons, and it'll all be contained where they don't want to make her a bigger cosmic entity or give her a role in the multiverse saga. 
And as I've said, uh, probably the last, I don't know, two months, about 20 times here at the channel, they're already up against a wall trying to figure out how to give enough quality screen time and dialogue to the right characters in these two Avengers films. We don't need to go crazy outside of left field and be thinking about all these insane cameos and stuff because just take a look at what the Russos already did. They tried to work with the most important characters they've got and keep the story circulating around them. What I'm basically saying is, I don't know if there's a place for death immediately in the multiverse saga and it could just be while she's playing Lady Death in the MCU, her story for now is just contained to Agatha all along. But I will also say her introduction is not a coincidence alongside other huge cosmic entities like Eternity and we may get a reveal that on the way to killing God of Stories Loki, basically Doctor Doom is going to play the role that we thought Gore the God Butcher would and actually start taking out these celestial beings in order for him to be able to create battle world and be god emperor doom it may be the case that we watch him murder cosmic entities like death and or eternity which would be absolutely nuts it's just again i have to point out the synchronicity here that we're now introduced to these huge cosmic beings and during this part of the multiverse saga where they were only hinted at say during the infinity saga we finally got to see the living tribunal as well in that one scene of multiverse of madness where they go through what looks like a realm of the living tribunal but you guys let me know all your thoughts down below obviously how you feel about the casting of lady death and where down the road you think she might have a storyline and or to show up i'm all ears as always quickly let's get into the giveaway stuff before i let you go all right we are still giving away playstation 5s here at the channel the easiest way to be entered to win for that or any of our other future giveaways because all the same rules will always apply is hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber then leave a comment down below because it's truly random the more videos you comment on the better chance you have of winning all winners will be announced at the end of videos, the same way we're doing here, live with my voice and a winning comment shown on screen when there is one. So please be safe and vigilant on YouTube or any other platform. Remember, anybody can take a content creator's profile photo, claim to be that content creator. Never share your information on a third party app like Telegram or WhatsApp, and it's all a ruse to get you to pay for shipping for a prize that doesn't exist. Try to remember guys, if you win something from a content creator, they're not gonna turn around and try to charge you for shipping. If you should get a comment like that, just report it directly to YouTube. They are very good about deleting those accounts, and then not only will that comment disappear for you, but everywhere that they've posted that same spam comment on YouTube will also be deleted. You're really doing everyone in the YouTube community a service. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on, and as always, if you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name's Michael Roman. You can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter with the name I Am Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music under the name All Fires. And while I sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.